world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Um, I don't know when you'll see this video, but it's Monday afternoon here in sunny South Africa, which is not that sunny today because it's been raining for a few days. Okay, today it didn't rain, but it's a bit overcast and whatever. And in some provinces like Natal, they are getting the brunt of this, I don't know, weather. Okay, so flooding and whatnot. Anyway, today we are looking at a multi-tool. Um, a few of my subscribers have been asking me to review the Caliber multi-tool. Now, Caliber has a few multi-tools, Caliber precision tools. They have a few multi-tools, but normally when I think of a multi-tool, I think of this one. I know people like the wave and the whatnot and whatever. I like the, I think they call it the freestyle, the one with just a knife and a pair of pliers. But I like this one. This is my sidekick. And it's, please excuse the dogs. Um, they bark at honey dust these days. So whenever they see a bird in a tree, they start barking. Anyway, I like the sidekick. Um, Small, compact, spring-loaded pliers, um, none of the what what jaws. This thing has got everything I want on it. Um, one of the big things, it's got a fine-edged blade. I love that. I don't like the off-serrated ones. And then it's got the saw. I like the saw. Okay, now these are the only two locking um, tools on this thing. Everything else is just normal flick it open, flick it back style tools. Okay, now, let me just get this out of the way. Now, my brother brought this thing here today. They were here for a braai. It was fantastic. We ate nicely. It was great. Okay, so we have the same quality pouch. Only difference is this one can also be carried scout style if you have a thin enough um, belt. Well, or I suppose you can, I don't know, put something else in there. Anyway, very, very cool pouch. Then, this thing. Now, this is the Caliber Multi-Tool. Um, okay, I showed you this thing for one more reason. They are pretty much the same price. The price that you would pay for a sidekick or um, what's the other one called? The Sidekicks More Urban Friendly Chommy. The one without the um, saw but with the scissors. I cannot remember. But that one and this one, price-wise, they are pretty much the same. Now, let's first look at the pliers from this guy. Big pliers. And then we have the removable jaws. Okay, which makes it quite awesome. And also, spring-loaded. Okay. Okay, so, we have the fantastic pliers. Then, look at all the tools on the outside. First off, we have a saw, which is a wonderful functional saw. Um, I'll do a separate video on this thing later again, just to test all of these things. Sorry about the dogs. Anyway, so we check the saw, then we have this thing, which is the file. Double-edged or double cut, I cannot remember, in a single cut. Again, locking. Everything so far has been locking. Okay, so you press that, then it unlocks, locks, unlocks. Okay, then on the other side, we have a pair of scissors. Now look at this. When you press them far enough and they start locking, they pop open. Let's see. Beautiful. And then we have a very functional, very hard use pair of scissors. Okay. Let's fold that back. Then we have the blade. Okay, I don't know how sharp this blade is, but still... It's got a thumb opening and a, what do you call that thing? A fine edge, so no serrations. Okay, like I said, this thing is my brother's. So the fact that it can still cut 
is pretty amazing. Um, you know those people that do not use their toolbox when they have one of these and only use this thing? Yes, that is them. Anyway, again, did you notice it's locking and you have to press the lock bar to get it closed? So everything on the outside, the scissors, the knife, the file and the saw, everything is locking. Okay, so four locking tools so far. Now, when we open this thing, we have three tools on this side. Did you hear that? Let me show you over here. Every single tool on this thing is locking. Okay, even together, they're locking. So you have to press that thing to select what you want or to get whatever you opened closed again. We have this, I don't know, seat belt cutter or package opener. We have a big flathead, a small flathead, can opener, and let me just show you the cap lifter. Wait, I have to press that. Okay. And there we have the, what's that thing? Cap lifter with a big flathead screwdriver. And again, it's locking. You have to press over here to get it to close. Now, on the other side, same thing. Locking. Everything, every single tool on this thing is locking. There we, there we have our all. And it's not like those fake Swiss Army knives that come blunt as sin. This thing is actually sharp. And then our full-on, can you see that? Our full-on um, Phillips head screwdriver. So none of this 2D blah blah things, it's a full on screwdriver. Okay, press the button, it hooks up and then it can unlock. So I must say, my first impressions, what did I do? Oh, my first impressions on this caliber multi-tool, this thing is fantastic. One hand opening for everything on the outside. Everything locking on the outside. That is truly fantastic. I don't think you're going to close these things one-handed. Unless you press them against something. Oh, like that, yeah. Okay, but still. Wonderful tool. I really enjoy this. And it doesn't feel bad if you're going to use it like that. It's nice and what, what. I would have liked a pocket clip, a pocket clip on it. But just like this. This thing is wonderful. Okay. Now, um, he's been doing his bonsai thing. So I can feel a bit of grit in the pivots and whatnot. So I'm going to spray this thing. Um, flush it out with tool in a can. Something like that. And then we will do a use test on this at some stage. But for now, I am happy. Okay. It's Monday afternoon. Long weekend is going to be over. Tomorrow we start with our normal working weeks again. Um, and then I will see you on the weekend. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, please do that. There will be a little red clicky thing there in the corner. Um, and otherwise, look after yourself, stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye.